Welcome back for lesson three of our stewardship study. Again, it's based off of Enough by Adam Hamilton. And uh, this particular chapter that we were reading in preparation for this week is the question of contentment, or cultivating contentment. And the scripture I'd like to use for us to reflect on is the Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verses 10 through 11. And I'm excited to talk about this because Ecclesiastes is my favorite book of the Bible. I hope to be doing some uh, a video recorded lesson for that coming up soon. I don't know. I may be just talking out, out of turn right now. But anyway, so have a listen. Whatever my eyes desired, I did not keep from them. I kept my heart from no pleasure. For my heart found pleasure in all my toil, and this was my reward for all my toil. Then I considered all my hands had done, and the toil I had spent doing it, and again, all was vanity and a chasing after the wind, and there was nothing to be gained under the sun. So, I love talking about that scripture passage, and I want, to, want you to know the questions that I was looking at was kind of the third set of questions at the end of the, the chapter. And... In this passage, uh, the elder Solomon, at least the tr traditionally that's who it's accredited to, is talking about uh, the rewards of work, whether or not it is a reward. And um, I, I understand what Adam Hamilton is getting at here in the scripture passage, which is that work in and of itself is not rewarding. It's not rewarding enough. It has no lasting value. At least that's what Ecclesiastes tells us. It, it tells us that your work is a vanity. It's a chasing after the wind. So you're going to do stuff and then it's going to be forgotten. It's going to be wiped away. The idea is how do we take that and become content with our place in life? And Ecclesiastes does this by talking about um, how because everything's just going to go away, you just need to be happy with where you're at, content at the moment. Um, the answer later in the book of Ecclesiastes comes in chapter 9. Go eat your bread with enjoyment and drink your wine with a merry heart, for God has already approved of what you've done. Or what you do. <laughs> Go uh, love the wife whom you loved all the vain days of your life, because that is your lot and your toil under the sun. Uh, see, I love Ecclesiastes because the way the book wraps up is that, you know what, that's the nature of life. You live, you work, you die. But that's okay. And it's okay to be happy with where you're at. So reflect on those questions there. What do you need for contentment? Um, how do you experience contentment? Um, I'm cutting myself off from the Ecclesiastes conversation more because I would love to talk more about that. Uh, because for me, Ecclesiastes as a book has been very helpful in, in, that, in this very conversation, how to be content with your day-to-day -day life. What's the point? <laughs> so talk amongst yourself about that. What is it that you rely on for contentment? And talk about anything else that came from the book that interests you or you think applies.